Raul Bad Hotel. What up, everybody? I know the suit here. I'm black at it like a crack addict. Let's talk about it. So in this video, we got an unboxing slash review going on today. So um, as you guys know, I did a series about losing weight, and I lost the weight. I got to I think I got to like 180. I think I got like 185 or something like that. But it didn't come out the way I wanted to due to the fact that my rotator cuff was torn. So I have some good days. Well, my rotator cuff was just jacked up. Um, so I'll have some good days and bad days. So I couldn't uh, go as hard as I wanted to when I worked out or I probably couldn't work out at all um, due to the lack of mobility when it comes to my shoulder. So on top of that, when I could work out, I wasn't going as hard or as, as intense. But so far, my shoulder has been, uh, been pretty good. So I'm, I want to get go hard again. So uh, so with that being said, I got to start off with some new goals. And I'm the I'm type of person that like, if I got new goals, I want everything to be new. So I was like, okay, let's throw away my old uh, supplements and try something different. Because uh, maybe my body didn't react the way I wanted to, so I want to try something different. So uh, with that being said, I'm trying to get to, uh, right now, I'm about 208, 206, 206, 208. I'm trying to get my way back to my original goal has always been 220, 230. My goal is to be a monster. So, like, uh, again, I look at, like, a lot of these uh, these conscious leaders or supposedly leaders, and I'm like, they don't look the part as, like, like, they don't look the part to me, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, like, my idea of a warrior slash uh, conscious person would be, like, Shaka Zulu. Like, this dude, he was with the shits. He had to look for it. He had the intelligence. So, uh, I, I, I look, I mean, I look like I work out, look nice and all, but I'm trying to look like a scary black dude. That's my goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I, I'm trying to look like Kimbo Slice, but the light skin version. So, I got to hit the weights a lot harder. So, I'm like, let's get some new stuff in here. So, I went to, I just left Vitamin Shop. Bing. I just left there and I got some pre-workout. So this is what I got. Boom. Boom. Get that thumbnail. Mmm. So I got this right here. So uh let's say, let me tell you why I purchased it in the first place. Um when I when I'm making games, one of the things I like to drink is uh, some type of creatine slash carb based intra workout. And uh they had it on they had it on sale, there's a buy one, get one half off. So I was like, well, I really don't buy too many cell tech products, but since it's half off, let's give it a go. And then, like, usually uh, for the price of this stuff, I definitely wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't for the discount. It's only, it only has 20 servings. Um, so uh, I hope it's really good because I, I need some new crack because, I mean, the pre-workout I've been taking, like, keep it a bug. I'm over this whole, like, pre-workout tasting like shit. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm hella over it. Like, I'm sipping it. I'm just like, it's nasty stuff. I'm, I'm over that. I want something to taste good. And there's not many uh, pre-workout products that really taste, like, good to me. So I'm hoping this is one because I got a rainbow fruit candy. Um, yeah, so let's get into let's get to the taste test and I'm gonna knock today. I'm hitting back today Um, but yeah, like that's one thing like I haven't really been too consistent because I really I haven't really set any like real goals besides just working out So now like no, I'm trying to get big black scary I'm on my shit. So let's try that. I like first of all, I like the packaging I mean, I mean it makes I like that like like dark chrome. I guess you call it. I don't know Matt like black chrome. I don't know I like it. Um but yeah, like I said, I always mess with Celtic because I know I, I tried the creatine product before. You know what I mean? But I don't think I really try to pre-workout. What are you talking about? So, but 20 servings, like, I'm like, like, scared. Hold on. Keep it a buck. I'm like, kind of scared because, um, uh, what if it's really good? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really want to pay no $40 for, uh, 20 servings. You know what I mean? Oh, let me get a scoop. We get a scooper. Cause you know, like they always hide the scooper. Let me go get a spoon or something to try to figure out where this freaking scoop is at. One second. But yeah. So like, pretty much my workout's been going pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Still doing my quarantine home workouts. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but like, I got pretty much got a whole gym set up now. I got like a whole Smith machine, which in retrospect is really good due to the fact that uh, uh, when you're doing so many free weights, it puts uh, with my rotator cuff. I mean, my rotator cuff being jacked up still. Um. Like, when you're doing free weights, it makes it very easy for you to put your arm in the wrong situation and hurt it more. So, with the Smith machine, it's only going in one direction, up and down. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not worried about hurting myself with uh, doing free weights, which I do miss free weights. I tell you that. But, I mean, with quarantine, we get on those lockdown, we do what we can do. So, here's a scooper. Smells like any other pre-workout chemicals. So, let's see what we're talking about. You know what I mean? 20 servings. That's boo-boo. Like, I would never buy pre-workout for 20 servings. Unless it's fire. And hopefully, like, yeah, it's like a hit or miss. Hopefully, it's good. But at the same time, I'm a little afraid. So, today, we got back. It's going it's to be a good bag day. Um, and I'm, 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 I'm ready to hit it hard. I need to get back to tracking my cal uh, tracking my progress. Because, again, I really wasn't setting any, like, the last, like, maybe two months. I've really been setting goals. I've just been lifting. 
Yeah, um, so yeah, I'm over that shit. Let's get some goals going. Keep you motivated because you're not motivated if you're not, work, you're not working towards anything. You're just going going through the motions. Okay, let's see what you're talking about. I know people always want to see the mixture. I mean, you know, people always like, hey, I gotta make sure it mixes well. I'm like, all right, let's see what you're talking about. Is it a sipper or is it knock it back? Well, let's find out. Mmm, it smells like chemicals. I have a hole in my lid. Okay. I would say this. It ain't hella nasty, but it's not hella good either. Um, like, what's it's, it's a pre workout that, like, one of my favorite workout pre workouts, Extreme Shot. That tastes good where you just can sip on it. I mean, uh, you know, it was the one by Chris Gethin, Gethins, whatever his last name is. His pre workouts taste good too. Like, you just sip on those things. I would say this is not much of a sipper, that's for sure. Oh no. You taste that creatine taste in there. Um, so let's get into the jazz, you know what I'm saying? What, what else made me want to buy it? So uh, per serving is 350 milligrams, which is crazy. Um, you got the beta alanine, so I get the little bit of that scratchy stimulation, you know, the stuff that we want to, well, the stuff that we like to know because we know it's in the demons inside of us. So it, it's, it seems pretty good. Oh yeah, that's not a sipper at all. So what we got planned for the workout today? while I'm knocking this thing back. Um, so generally speaking, uh, what I do when I, on my back workouts, I always start off with pull-ups, body weight pull-ups. Uh, I usually do about four to five sets, 10 to 12 reps, uh, 10 to 12 reps uh, uh, per set. Uh, but since I, I'm still working on my rotator cuff, like I could do the things, but again, I this, this will be the first time, ever since I, I tore my rotator cuff size bicep, Every time I start feeling better, I would just start working out. I will start working out for for some stupid reason. Um, so like I would be doing light shoulder presses. You know what I mean? Stupid or light side raises. But on this one, I'm not doing nothing with my my shoulder. Like uh, like shoulder workout. I don't even do shoulders no more. So I just focus on since you do when you're working out chest, you work a lot of your front delt. So I just keep it at that. When I'm doing my back, I, I do my best to contract my my rear delt as much as I possibly can. But I'm not doing any pressing at all, like overhead presses or no dumbbell presses from my uh, rotator cuff. But for back, I'm gonna start off with lat pull downs, uh, three sets, four sets, uh, four sets uh, of 15, and at some point I'm gonna end off with like six to eight reps. Boom. I want to get that strength in there. Then from there, I'm going to go right into uh, bent over rows. Uh, bent over barbell rows, to be exact. I'm going to knock out the same thing, ending up, ending off my set with, uh, with at least the six to eight reps. I want to get that strength in there. Then from there, we're going to get into some close some close uh, close work. I'm going to do some uh, seated uh, uh, close grip rows. Knock that out. Then I'm going to go into right into reverse. Uh, reverse. Uh, Reverse cable rows, boom, knock that out. And last but not least, I'm gonna go with some straight arm pull downs. And that'll be the end of my back workout. Um, I tend to do, I, I, depending on how I'm feeling and how much time I got, I might do a single arm uh, a row with the, with the, with the barbell. So, that was, but we'll see where we're at, because I have a client at 5.30, so I gotta knock out this, get food ready to go, shower, all that good jazz. But what I'm gonna do today is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you guys too long, I'm gonna knock this back, get my workout in. As soon as I get done with my workout, I'm gonna do a review immediately. So ain't gonna know, ain't gonna be no part one, part two. So just stay tuned. Alrighty. So this is probably like an hour, eh, maybe like three hours after the workout. Um, so I say this: the taste is terrible, um, but I got some really good pumps. I had a really good workout. Um, the focus is on point. Like you know, you like the whole time I was lifting, I was in the mood. Um, I didn't start yawning till like towards 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 the end of the workout. So yeah, I, I think it's, it's a good product. Uh, only downside is the taste is terrible. Um, I'm really looking forward to hitting it, using it tomorrow with legs. You know what I mean, uh, the thing about pre-workouts when I hit legs is it, some reason like with the with the mixture of the heavy weight and all the oxygen going to my legs, all the blood, I get sick at some point. So I'm I'm curious to see how it's going to do uh, tomorrow on a leg workout. But uh, so far, I think it's a good product. I don't um, I don't recommend buying it if it costs forty dollars or more. But if you want to give a supplement a try, go for it. Just remember, the taste is terrible. With that being said, don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, share. I'm out.